In this lesson, we are going to be talking about estimating sums and differences when they involve decimals. So in your notes, it talks about uh, the Guinness Book of World Records uh, with the largest head of garlic, which weighed in at 1.19 kilograms, and the largest potato, which weighed in at 3.487 kilograms. And then it asks us to um, find the total mass of both of those items and then the difference between the two. So we need to know that uh, when we are out in the general world and we are working with daily math that we use on a regular basis, we don't often do the exact math in our head. So for example, if you're going shopping and you're trying to total up what your grocery beers bill is going to be, uh, we don't often come up with an exact dollars and cents before we get to the till. We usually do a little bit of rounding and estimating to make sure that the amount of money that we have in our pocket or in our bank account is more than the amount that whatever we're buying is going to cost. So we do this by estimating and we've talked about estimating this year. Um, we are going to focus on front end estimation when we are doing this. So if I am adding, one of the best ways that I can do this is by looking at these first numbers and adding them together. So I'm going to take one plus three, and that's going to give me four. So I can guess that the total mass of these two things, items, are is going to be around that four kilogram mark. Now, if we wanted to check this, we could grab a calculator and we could show that this is close to the correct answer. Now, my calculator is kind of fancy, but we're going to take a look at it here. Um, so I have 1.191 and I'm going to add 3.487 and I get an answer of 4.678. So when I have that answer, 4.678, that looks pretty close to my four kilograms. And so I would say that I am on the right track when it comes to um, estimating an answer. Now, the other thing that it asks us to do is to subtract and see what is the difference. Now to do that, we're going to follow more or less the same steps. We are going to round um, or use that front end estimation and use our subtraction. So we're going to start with the bigger one with the potato. So I'm going to have three minus one is equal to two. So the difference should be about two kilograms. So let's pull out our calculator. And we have 3.487 minus 1.191 equals 2.296. So we are pretty close to two kilograms. Now, depending on what we're doing, we can actually go a little bit further when we are rounding. So um, in both these cases, I could look at this second number and know that I should round down because this number is less than five. Um, but if I was working with a number such as, let's say I have 3.568 and 2.971, both of these, this one's about three and a half and this one's almost an additional three. So when I'm doing this, I might round both of these up. So I might say that this is going to be about, now a squiggly equal sign means about, four. And this one is about three. So when we're doing this, we uh, have to use a little bit of judgment as to how we're going to treat those numbers. Um, and it does take a little bit of practice. So as you go through the assignment, um, Estimate the sums or estimate the differences um, and then check them on a calculator and see if you're close. Um, you should be usually, if you're two off, like a full two, that's probably a little far. You might want to retry that question. But if you're within one, you're usually doing pretty good. So try it out. If you have any questions, uh, send me a message and we can chat them over.